Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on similar shapes and we're going to be looking how scale factors affect area and volume. So let's begin with a question. We're given two shapes, shape A and shape B. And if we read the question, it says shape A is similar to shape B. The area of shape A is 6 centimetres squared. Find the area of shape B. So what we're looking in this question, it gives us the word similar, which means shape A has been enlarged to make shape B. So what we need to do is we need to work out what the scale factor is. We need to work out how much it's been enlarged by. So we look at the two sides that we know, the 4 goes to 12, and we can see that to go from 4 to 12, you must multiply by 3. So that gives us our first scale factor. Our scale factor for length is 3. But there's always three scale factors because there's a different scale factor for length, area and volume. So the scale factor for area would be 3 squared because it's area and the scale factor for volume would be 3 cubed because it's volume. So we're going to work these ones out. So our scale factor for length is just 3. Our scale factor for area is 3 squared, which is 9. And our scale factor for volume is 3 cubed, 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. So whenever we have one of these shapes looking at the effect on area and volume, we always work out all three scale factors in the question. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look at which of these scale factors we need to use. So if we look at the question, the question is asking us for the area of B. So we know we need to use the area scale factor. So we're going to be using this middle one. We're going to be using the number 9 as the scale factor. So the area of shape B would be the area of shape A, which is 6, times our scale factor, which we've just worked out. We're using the area scale factor, so it's 6 times 9, which is 54 centimetres squared. So the, volume, the area of shape B is 54 centimetres squared. Right, let's do another example of that, try and make it a little bit clearer. So here's our next question. This time we're given two triangles, triangle A and triangle B. And the question says, shape A is similar to shape B. So we've got the word similar in there, which just means an enlarged shape. The area of shape B is 48 centimetres squared. So this time they've given us the area of the bigger shape. It wants us to then find the area of shape A. So it's asking us to find the area of the smaller shape. Well, we're going to do everything the same in this question. We're going to use an arrow from the two sides we know, and we're going to work out what that change is. So to go from 2 to 8, you need to multiply by 4. So our first scale factor, our scale factor for length is just 4. But remember, there's always three scale factors. There's a scale factor for area, which in this case would be 4 squared. And there's a scale factor for volume, which in this case would be 4 cubed. So our scale factor for length is just 4, our scale factor for area, 4 squared is 16, and our scale factor for volume, 4 cubed, is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. So we've worked out our three scale factors. And again, we just need to look at the question and choose which one we need. So again, this question's asking us to find the area. So this time, again, we're going to be using the area scale factor. So we're going to be using the middle one again. We're going to be using 16 as our scale factor. So the only difference is in this question, um, we are looking for the smaller shapes area. We're looking for the area of A. So the area of A, well, because we're looking for the smaller shape, we're going to divide. We're not going to times. So we take the area of B, which is 48, and we're going to use our scale factor as 16, 
but because we're going to the smaller shape, we're going to divide by 16. So 48 divided by 16 is 3. And don't forget to put the units centimetres squared. So because we were going to the smaller shape, we're working out the area of A, we had to divide, and we got the answer of 3 centimetres squared for the area of A. Right, I'm going to have a go at another question. This time, the question gives us two cylinders. And I'll read the question. It says, shape A is similar to shape B. So we're looking for that word similar to tell us that the question is an enlarged version of the other shape. It tells us that the volume of shape A is 20 centimetres cubed. So this time it's volume. And it's asking us to find the volume of shape B. So it wants us to find the volume of this enlarged shape. So first thing we do, we're looking at the two numbers um, for the side. So we've gone from 5 centimetres to 10 centimetres. So you can see that the change there is by times in by 2. So our first scale factor would be, for length, 2. Now, as I keep saying, there's always three scale factors. So there's a scale factor for area, which would be 2 squared. And there's a scale factor for volume, which would be 2 cubed. So the scale factor for length is just 2. Oh. The scale factor for area, 2 squared. 2 times 2 is 4. And the scale factor for volume, 2 cubed, 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So we have our three scale factors. And now we're just going to have a look at which one of those three to use. Well, as I said a moment ago, this question is a volume question. So we're going to be using the volume scale factor. So we're using this bottom one this time, the volume scale factor of 8. So we are going from the smaller shape to the bigger shape, so we're going to need to times. So the volume of shape B is going to be the volume of shape A, which is 20, times our scale factor of 8. Well, 20 times 8 is 160, and because it's volume, it's centimetres cubed. So we times because we were going from the smaller shape to the bigger shape. So we're going to go through one last example. So this time the question gives us two cylinders again, shape A and shape B. And it says shape A is similar to shape B. Remember the key word similar means it's an enlarged shape. The volume of shape B is 270. So this time they're giving us the volume of this shape. And they're asking us to find the volume of shape A. So they want us to find the volume of the smaller one. So straight away, we know this is going to be a divide version of the question. So first thing we do, we look at the two sides we've got. And this time, we're going from 7 to 21. So the way you go from 7 to 21 is by multiplying by 3. So our first scale factor is going to be 3. So our first scale factor for length is 3. That means our scale factor... Oh, I've messed that up a bit. That means our scale factor for area will be 3 squared, and our scale factor for volume will be 3 cubed. So if we work them out, scale factor for length is just 3. 3 squared for area is 9, and for volume, 3 cubed is 27. So we have our three scale factors. I'll put a bubble around that. And then we're just looking at the question, and we're picking which one we need. So again, this is a volume question. So we'll be using the volume scale factor, the bottom one. So if we look at the question, it wants us to find the volume of A. So the way we find the volume of A, because it's the smaller shape, we're going to divide. So it's 270, which is the volume of B, divided by, because we're making a smaller shape, 227, sorry, which is our scale factor. So 270 divided by 27 is 10. So the volume is 10 centimetres cubed. So the volume of A is 10 centimetres cubed. Well, I hope you understand that. Always looking for three scale factors. So here are a couple of questions for you to have a go at. Pause the video because I'll be bringing up the next questions in a moment.
I'll be sorry, I'll be bringing up the answers in a moment. So pause the video. Right, I'm bringing up the answers now. So you can check your work. Here are the answers. <laughs> 